Woo! Mosquito! Hello, people of the internet. Look, I'm back to sitting on my casting couch in my garage. My mother would be so proud of me for saying that. Anyway, I cleaned, I cleaned off the couch, so I have a place to sit in the garage now. <laughs> anyway, uh, today's video, I'm going to be doing some more work on the MR2, and, uh, well, yep, <laughs> I'm going to do some more work on the MR2. There's a link up above to the last video where I did such a thing. That last video, ow, I hit my head. Anyway, the last video I worked on the MR2, I made that new harness for the driver side speaker, and uh, I said I was going to do the passenger side off camera, but I have no life off camera. Get out of my car, fly! The main purpose of this video is not going to be putting this speaker in on the passenger side. It's going to be doing something that I think is damn near impossible. That right there is a factory Toyota glass windshield on my 91 MR2. For those of you who know a little bit about cars, it's hard to have a factory windshield on a car this old. However, you can see this one has a lot of scratches from the windshield wipers going across the surface of it. Ah, right here. Yes. I ordered some stuff right here. Some, it looks pretty gnarly. I'm gonna have to wear a respirator when I do this, but I wanna see if this works. This stuff right here looks like something out of Breaking Bad, except the wrong color is CRL, seranium oxide. This is a compound that when mixed with water should remove scratches from glass. I thought that said shower doodle. It says shower door direct. I can't wait to take a shower doodle tonight. That sounds funny. Done. Front speakers are fully wired up. Tweeters too, and they work. It sounds good. I'm debating whether or not I should add a small subwoofer though. Don't worry, I'm gonna get to the point of this video here in a second. Just, so the MR2 from the factory came with a small subwoofer that goes down behind the seat right here, like underneath that lid. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Should I add a small subwoofer, like how it came from the factory? Or should I just leave it out? I really don't know. I'm not like a sound nerd, so. I gotta go do some stuff. Time to wrap some presents. I gotta cover the whole MR2 in this stuff because I'm gonna get crap everywhere. Probably all over the clothes I'm wearing too. It's, it's all staticky, static cling. Makes it really easy. Plastic. Stuff's cheap. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Good and plenty. I'm going to make a mess. I need to cut out the windshield. And I just lift it above the windshield so I don't create more scratches. Cut it along where the wiper is at. Look at them scratches. Tape it right there. Good to go. I uh, taped off around the bottom. I just took the blades off. I didn't take the arms off. I could have, however, there is no scratches on this lower portion of the windshield. So I just wrapped my masking tape around the wiper arm itself so that way I can lift it if need be. And uh, I think that's good enough. The bulk of the scratches really start about mid windshield and then they go up to the top. There's just a very fine one that goes almost as far down as the wipers, but not quite. The benefits of being tall. You didn't see that. I didn't put this away dirty. Just ignore that. I don't know, right here, this guy's foam. I need felt. These things work good too, 3M eraser. It's obvious to me now why Amazon is so successful because last night I went to three different stores trying to find a felt wheel to buff this windshield with because that's what I've researched works best. Couldn't find anything. The best thing I was able to come up with is this guy right here. It says it's to be used with abrasives. Um, 
I don't know, it's made out of like a sheep's ass, I guess. Either way, if this fails to remove the scratches from the windshield, I'll spare the hassle of the diet tab guzzling mouth breather in his mom's basement, screaming in the comments section about using the improper tools to do this. I'm gonna start out with this guy. I'm letting you know right now the correct thing to use to do this would be a felt pad. At least from the research, I have too much water. At least from the research I have done, that's the best thing to use. One part water, two parts serenium oxide is what the mixture calls for. That's a, that's a lot. I'm gonna wear a respirator just in case and I'm gonna keep my camera really far away with a zoom lens on so you guys can see what I'm doing because I don't want splatter of this crap on my camera lens. Okay, cue the work music. I started out with a small test patch behind the rear view mirror before discovering that I needed to make a lot more of the seranium oxide compound mixture because it absorbs into the bucking pad quickly. I think it's working, but it's also taking a toll on my drill at the same time, so. Oh yeah, you can see the spot I did right there. See it in the center where the Windex is like not really sticking to it? You can see right here in the center, it is less visible. It's a ton of work though for not a ton of results. I'm gonna switch over to my rotary and just have at it with that thing. Let's see, time lapse again. This thing smells like an ass. I can tell that stuff is in my garage because I can feel it in my teeth, which is really weird. I don't know if it's like reacting with the fillings in my teeth, but I'm gonna keep this respirator on. It took a while of trial and error to find out a mixture consistency that worked well. If I had too little water, it wouldn't stay on the windshield long enough to do its job. And if I had too much water in there, it would just get thick and then dry out and then fling out into powder all over the place. Round two. All right, I did the very edge over here so far. So the center I haven't really done. And we'll go down here and you can see, here's all the crap right there. But if you get closer over here, it's pretty good. I mean, there's still some scratches there, but it's a lot better considering I'm not using a felt pad. I mean, it probably would have been a little bit more effective had I used a felt pad or one specifically designed for glass, but for just winging it, which was the whole purpose of this video, was just to wing it, it's not bad. Another important tech tip is make sure you do not get the glass hot when you're doing this, because if you get the glass hot, your glass will crack. Goodbye. I will miss that car. That was one of my favorite press cars I've ever reviewed. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. It worked. I had to do a special little trick to get it to work, but yeah, buddy, the scratches are gone. So what I was using was a foam pad on the rotary and it was not working. So I know this is ridiculous, but I put a cotton pad that doesn't quite fit because I don't have one for this diameter of the rotary on there. The difference between the felt and the cotton, and the reason why you're supposed to use felt, is the fact that this thing has a bunch of holes in it, so it doesn't hold the liquid. It just slings out all over the place. Whereas this retains moisture, and allows it to create like a paste and sit on the windshield for a longer duration of time. Basically, it was a trial and error situation that I learned from, and uh, now all I got one last thing that I need to take care of. If you look at the windshield right here, you see there's no scratches. But as soon as you follow it down to the very edge, there's all the scratches again. So I need something that's small to get into that area. And luckily I have one of these little guys. It's dirty, I gotta clean it real quick, but it's a tiny cotton one that goes on my air compressor tool, which isn't gonna last that long because it's a small compressor, but I don't need to do a whole lot down there. Okay, I need to clean because I don't want that stuff getting on the paint. Let's fast forward 30 minutes real quick. I gotta clean. 
So that was a little bit longer than 30 minutes. It's the next evening. I just got back from Bondurant Racetrack and drove the new Mark V Supra on track. Made a vlog about it. It's not a review. I didn't have enough time with the car to do a review, but I got a fun vlog coming up for you guys after this video. Now, to start out where I left off last night, I need to wash this thing because you can see there's a bunch of dust on the car still. I can't leave this windshield unprotected now that I got it all polished, but I also got to wash the car. Oh my god, I need gas bad. The sun is so bright, I can't see anything behind me. I need to put a backup camera on this car. I just noticed right here I have a small rock chip on the windshield. I definitely need to get this rock chip taken care of so all this work wasn't for nothing. You can see there's a lot of pits on the windshield anyway though. I think I just got hit by lightning. I let the foam sit there for a second on the car and collect all the particles of crud off of it for a rinse and do it again. Then I'll give it a good wipe down and air dry it. It's got a, a hydrosilex coating on it, so it's, it's ish ceramic coated, kinda. Ooh, mosquito, go away. That just took almost two hours to just clean the car. I didn't even do anything other than just like clean off the dust. Okay, so. Ugh. My detailing cabinet is looking kind of sad. Glass restorer. Nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna go over the glass one last time, make sure it's nice and clean. And I'm just gonna put some um, synthetic ceramic-like coating on the windshield. There's a tiny bit down here at the very bottom, still by where the wiper starts. But yeah, oh, that's so much better. There's a little bit up here that I missed. Tiny, tiny bit at the top. That's no big deal though. The car is not perfect, so I'm not trying to get perfection out of this thing. I'm happy with that. I mean, if it was, if it was perfect, I'd never want to drive this thing. So it's flawed, and I'm flawed, so we're a flawed pair. Okay, so I got some stuff right here. Um, I'm just gonna give it a shot because I've never used this on anything and it says right on here that it is for painted surfaces, rubber, plastic, and glass, wheels, anything. It's ceramic based, so I'll give it a shot. I've never tried it. Phytec in no way sponsored this video, so free advertising for them, but. It says to shake it well, spray directly on, and then wipe out the microfiber and let it sit out with no pressure and let it sit for two hours. Add a little bit more, just in case, because it says not to use pressure and I feel I might have used pressure because I'm hungry and I do that when I'm hungry. I, I pressurize things when I'm hungry. Most people just make a meal. Nope, not me, not Sarah. I pressurize things, like my hands. Ooh, it's streaky. It's very streaky. Final results. I say that is much, much better than it was before. I say that's complete. Now the next task I have for the MR2, I have all the bushings here for it now to do the complete suspension bushings. And I still have to hook up my uh, boost controller, wideband boost controller on the car. So those are the next two things. And then gotta drop the fuel tank and fix the heater core. That's gonna be fun. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon with another. Bye. You gotta be kidding me. I got it on my garage door too. It's everywhere.